Wednesday. Hey? Well, I've been here all week with you, huh? I know, last weekend, <laughs> this weekend. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you have your good luck charm there. Yeah, so. Are you coming to Dubai also? I yes. need you. I need you. I need you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that horse is four years old. I know. Grazie mille. Grazie. Ve lo aspettavate? Sì. Perché quando ho vinto. Good Charlie? Quando ho vinto l'avevo montato io. The Faris is coming, but we can start with Alberto and move on to the Faris when he gets into it. L'unica cosa ho 62 kg. E l'anno scorso, se guardi, quando arriva un quarto, David Egan l'ha montato in verde, l'ha dato la via. Poi ti ha fatto l'altro. Perfetto. Quando Christian poi è passato, era perfetto. Bene. Hai sbagliato il viaggio. Ne fa lì? 249. No, 300. 300. Non bad. Scusate. I won it yesterday, the before yesterday, so... Well, back in Qatar? Yeah, yeah, okay. yesterday I won the cup. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah, Good week. Yeah, with the le legend Xanal. The one last week was when uh, Ryan Moore, over 1600 meters, finished fourth. He was leading. Okay. The same color of uh, Stone Age. Yeah, oh, yeah, the horse that leads for the day, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is yes, it? Ah? Chi? Ah sì, Los Andes, ma non fa 2100. Sì. Ok. Sì, sono fermato. Hello, Fali. Ok. Yeah, good, good, good. Ok, Charlie. Well, connections of the Saudi International Handicap join us. This uh, race sponsored by Al Raji Bank. And we have the winner, Kada, trained by, uh, in Bahrain by Fazi Nas, ridden by Alberto Sana. Well done to you both. Fazi, this also winner here early in the campaign. Was this race always high on his radar after that? Uh, yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, he won the Prince Khalid bin Abdullah's race with Alberto on the turf uh, about six weeks ago, I'd say. And uh, we probably made a mistake to, to try him on the dirt in the uh, King's Cup, uh, the Holy Custodian, but uh, switching back to turf did the trick today. And that looked a, a hot race, the race he ran in last time. The, the winners in the, the Saudi Cup and the, the second one early on today. So the, the yes. form's working out. Absolutely, the form uh, is there for sure. And for you to come here to, to Saudi and scoop a, a good race like this, what does that mean for you? Uh, it means uh, quite a lot to, to represent Bahrain, obviously, on a day like this. Uh, and yes, uh, especially the source. Uh, he's, he's owned by six of my friends, including myself, so okay. it was good. <laughs> <laughs> and this race has been a, a welcome addition to the calendar, given horses the opportunity. It might not be quite good enough to compete at the, at the highest level, a, a chance to shine on a, on a big stage. Absolutely. It's very nice of uh, Saudi uh, Cup racing, obviously, to have a race like this, uh, given the ones that are not as good for the uh, group races, but uh, obviously a high standard of a handicap race. And nice to see that international element as well coming to play in here with running some Spain and Greece and Czechoslovakia. Absolutely, absolutely. It was uh, very well international. And as a, as a man who's heavily involved in racing in, in Bahrain, how proud have you been of the, the development of racing in the, the Middle East over the last 20 years, but especially maybe the, the last five or, or ten especially? Oh yes, I mean the progression of racing uh, in Saudi and Bahrain, obviously Saudi was a uh, magnificent uh, uh, progress uh, in the last few years. Uh, it's very nice to see that happening. And Alberto, you rode this horse when he won here two starts back. A, a welcome return to Saudi for you. Yeah, it was uh, a great experience on the first time when I rode him. And uh, was my first time, actually my uh, first time here in uh, Saudi. Then uh, I rode another horse from uh, Fozzi. And then this is uh, my third attempt here in, uh, in Saudi. So it's good. And just tell us how the race developed for you. So I was very confident about the horse because eventually I got a good draw. I was drawn tre uh, three, so I know the horse is quite keen, and I need just to cover him up. And the way I rode him, 
you can see from the camera. It was good <laughs> because I got the camera on and uh, everything was went on the plan. And actually, when uh, uh, Palavicino, if I'm not wrong, it, yeah. it make the mid move, it was uh, absolutely perfect for, for me because then it make the feel to stretch a little bit more and my horse relaxed. But then I, I, was, I was quite confident coming up to the straight because I was carrying 62 kilo. I, I have to concern about that. Yeah, yeah, big so ways. It's great run. And actually, it surprised me because today it was uh, much better than uh, last time when I rode him on the grass. Okay, and this, this caps a, a big seven days for you. Just tell people if they've not been aware of what you've been up to the last week, what you, what you achieved last weekend. Yeah, it's, it's great because I won in uh, Qatar the major event, the Hemisphere, with a horse from Hong Kong. But you know, this is a, a kind story. Many people doesn't know that when I was really down in Italy and nobody gave me a chance, I, I left Italy to go to Bahrain. And then from Bahrain starts everything back. So, you know, I'm very pr uh, proud to ride for Bahrain people and I give them back these kind of victories because actually the, my first important victory of uh, Overseas was with Chopin, which was trained by and owned by uh, Bahraini people. Okay. Then I won for, for Hong Kong, which I spent three years in Hong Kong, and now again back from with Kader and Bahraini guys. So you've really given back to the people who have supported you, be it people in Hong Kong or, or be it in Bahrain in the in the last week or so. I believe this 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 is a very difficult game, a very tough game, and when you are doing well, it's easy to forget the people who supported you when nobody was uh, supporting you. I can see from the last seven days, I have uh, many friends now. Before, they don't even say hello to me, now I have a lot of friends, which <laughs> they're not true friends. And I always concern and uh, try my best for the people who support me in the tough times. And fantasy, what about this horse? Obviously, a horse on the improve is given way to way to the, the field here today. Where might we see him next? I'm not sure really, we'll uh, have to see how the horse comes out and uh, make a plan, but uh, there's possibly nothing else for him this year. Might you try him in, in Europe come the summer time? Uh, could be a possibility, could be yeah. a possibility, yeah. Okay, we'd love to see him there. Uh, many congratulations to our winning connections. Any questions from the floor before we finish up? No? Well, many congratulations, uh, Farazin Ass and uh, Alberto Senna. Welcome Thank to you both. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in four weeks. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs>